Hello guys, welcome back. In this Laravel unit testing video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can just write the first unit test case with the Laravel. So first of all, what we have to do for that? First of all, we need a PHP unit that we need to install if you are a PHP unit is not installed. And after that, we, we have to uh, create a one file and we will able to uh, run the test cases. All right. And before that, I'm going to show you a little bit structure of the unit test cases. For the unit test cases, you have to see that on the uh, root folder, you will find a tests folder. And in this, you will get the two folders, which is the feature and the unit. Feature means you are going to test a complete feature and unit simply means you are going to test a, a single unit of the feature. All right. So now, first of all, uh, we have to install uh, the PHP unit. For that, I'm going to just write a pseudo apt get install php unit this hit the enter and this is already installed in my case so that's why it's showing that this is the already installed here no upgrade no new things are here all right so now the second thing what we have to do all right so here already you will see if we are going to the test folder you will see that one test case in the feature and one test case in the unit so we can also run them but we also have to know that how we can create the new file all right so i'm going to just write php artisan and make test so let's say i'm going to just write app test uh, your file name must be uh, prefix with the text all right so you can write uh, in the test in the last otherwise it will not going to learn all right and if you want to make this file inside the unit then you have to use the minus minus unit otherwise it will directly go to the feature folder all right so now I'm going to hit the enter all right so I think yes I have to make this one and you will see that you we are able to create a new file here okay so this file is belong to here when you are going to hit this command it will automatically generate a file and here it will uh, with the class name and a function name test example you can put any function name that you want but here this is simply uh, you can write here as a true that means this will going to run and the, it will provide the true result all right so how we can run it so now for that uh, we can run like this vendor bin php unit and you will see that we got the three test cases successfully run all right so one is this and two are there okay so if i'm going to create one more then let's say exp then I'm going to uh, use the vendor bin PHP unit then it will show you the four command uh, the four test is run because there are run is and if I'm going to write something here wrong like I just put here false then what's going on then the four case is not going to successfully run and it will give you the error let's try then you will see the case is failed and where is case is failed it will tell me in the line number this and file number this okay so if you want to make it uh, fine then you can also use now it will expecting false now it will run and if we are going to pass here true then it will give to the failure okay so don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video and uh, uh, this is a very simple example of the unit testing and in the next video we will uh, doing more about it okay so thanks thanks for watching this don't forget to subscribe channel and if you have any kind of suggestion please comment it thanks guys thanks for watching this